And here we have Super GM NVL. Oh, Super GMs. And we have Michael Adams as black. So this one is white to move, I think. Let me put the timer back. And white pieces to move. Let me just double check, but I think it's white pieces to move. Uh, yep, white to move and find, we're looking for the best positional move. Well, the main question is, do they have to take on F7? Is there anything else that we need to consider? I mean, I, I agree with you. We have to look into that night improvement right away. Yeah, here, if I'm playing this game, I don't know what to do. The question to ask is, which of my pieces can I improve? And this knight seems like it's just not doing anything. Pa, pa, pa. Rook d5 is interesting, but I don't think it's the, it's the move. Now I'm thinking knight c3, what if bishop e6, right? I guess knight d5, bishop takes, rook takes, rook takes, pawn takes, pawn takes. Hmm, not a fan, not a fan, not a fan. Is there any way that we can activate the bishop? That's another thing, but I don't think so. Knight c3, knight c3, and maybe f5. Okay, those are the candidate moves. Now, f5, I only thought of it because I want to get my knight to f4 with a tempo. And then I'm hitting g6, I'm hitting d5. Now, if they take also knight f4, and I'm getting to d5 so much quicker, but I don't know if it's justified. It's a double pawn anyways. And if you think about it, f5 activates both, both pieces. And I heard... Well, I, I heard or heard or read at some point that if you have a pawn sacrifice that is going to allow you to activate two or more pieces, then you should go for it. it you, you get compensation for that. So one, two, and three. All right, guys. Again, we're giving ourselves five minutes. We're trying to calculate and visualize even if we don't get it, we look at the idea after and we register the ideas or patterns that we're not that we're not seeing. So let's see how that goes. Okay, this is number 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the move was indeed pawn to f5. Pawn to f5. Pawn to f5. Akira. Okay, guys, big shout out to good friend and excellent talent, Akira's in the house. And okay, an excellent move, freeing the F4 square for the white knight and later possibly the bishop. So this is consistent with that principle. If you're going to sacrifice the pawn and it's going to allow you to activate two or more pieces, then just go for it and, and trust the process, right? Or trust the principles. So F5 was played, rook takes F5, uh, by Michael Adams and they say the game continued no no he didn't play that he should have but the game continued with bishop takes f5 oof can you guys find the next move inevitably it always leads to tactics so what should the white pieces play right here and you know I, I'm it's a shame that I already saw it in the answer because you have been a nice one ah there you go, there you go. That's the move, guys. That's the move. G4, G4, G4. G4, G4, G4. Yeah, that's the move. So here we have pawn to G4. That's really nice. 
h takes g3 knight takes g3 bishop and that's it this is the same thing that we talked about before yeah just rook on the seventh rank this is just too much and i'm hitting i'm hitting this rook as well this is just too much nice 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 bishop f4 remember the bishop too since that pawn moved the knight got activated uh, there are some lines where the knight gets activated there's some lines where the bishop gets activated it's just too much it is just too much so anyways going back they are giving after f5 they're giving rook takes as the main line and then knight f4 rook f6 knight to d5 of course that's where we're going bishop goes to d8 and after knight f6 bishop c7 what else are they giving here oof <laughs> All right, there's one more move that we have to find. One last move that we have to find. Now, yes, tough, but we're not, so, I mean, we're not expecting, they're not expecting us guys to calculate the whole thing. I'm, I don't think um, MVL calculated the whole thing. He just knows, oh, I'm getting activity with F4. Maybe he did, probably he did. But uh, if you just understand that concept, then that activity, that compensation should, should help out. Rook d7, mm, I just take this, you take bishop e6. No, I don't think so. Oh no, 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 no. This is tough. I don't think you're going to find it, but knight d7, bishop takes, rook takes. Nope, I keep the extra bishop. This pawn is going nowhere. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Look, I'm not even going to make you suffer. The move is actually rook f1. This is tough. So they're telling you now, um, careful, because I'm going to play knight h7. But also, if you take this cover check, and I'm going to get the rook. And finally, if you take me, rook f6 followed by bishop h6. Oof. Yeah, 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 yeah. And look, this seems like, oh, I'm never going to play these kind of moves, but you're getting exposure to these ideas. And one day, we don't know when, it's going to kick in, all right? Hello, hello, nice to see you here. All right, guys, tough, I know. Anyways, at the end, we're going to go over all of this little by little, but again, F5 is a move. Everything else you said makes perfect sense, but again, F5, we sack the pawn to activate both pieces. Notice that, notice that when we asked the question, which of my pieces can I improve, um, or should I improve, both the bishop and the knight came to mind. It's just that the bishop was not so clear. So f5 solved the problem. All right, let's do it. Next one, we are in charge of the white pieces. Oh, timer back, timer back. Five minutes. Okay, this is a candidate move. Okay, first candidate move, queen d2, knight d2, what else comes to mind? Pawn g5 has to come to mind. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got one, two, three, three candidate moves, and then knight d2, four candidate moves. Now we, go, we look at each one of them and see if they lead to anything. Now, if we first evaluated the position, main thing that should come to mind is that we have opposite color bishops. Typically, this is a good idea. It's a good idea to attack if you have the opposite color bishops. Honestly, I don't think I don't see anything else. This pawn is falling anytime. A4 is a thematic idea. If the pawn takes, this is hanging, but it's not the case right now. It might be the case right now. Maybe A4 is the move. <laughs> I'm saving the pawn, I'm getting a protected pass pawn. And if they take me, well, g5, and then we take. And this goes back to the same thing we keep repeating. When it comes to candidate moves, maybe one of the candidate moves is not the move, but it could come later in the main variation. Like g5, maybe it's not the, it's not the move, but after a4, it could come in handy. Now, the question is, do I play a4 first or do I play 
g4 first. Okay, good. So if knight d2, queen f2, so this is bad. And that's why I always tell you, the candidate move doesn't have to be a good move. It could be, it could be the worst move. It could be something like queen g6. If it comes to mind first, it's a candidate move. Then you determine if they make sense or not. So, okay, this process of elimination, <laughs> we don't want it. Um, so we are between a4, queen d7, queen d2. Now, notice that I only thought of a4 after I evaluated the position. So it has to be that, I think, unless we find something better. Let's take a look at the answer. Um, Rasmus, where are you, Rasmus? Okay, number 24. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yep. So we got this one and one more to go, guys. The move is indeed pawn to a4. Just like the game, another game that we went over. <laughs> um, we got queen f4. Yeah, if ba3, if ba3 and passant, we have pawn to g5. If queen f4, they're just giving queen d2 with advantage for the white pieces. Actually, the white pieces won, won the game. And guys, this is, we're talking about a 2,500 rated player defeating a 2,644, no, 2,677 rated player. Um, and this is a very cool way to do it. So that's it. Pawn a4, queen d2, and happy to play the same game. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if the queens get traded, make sure you don't drop the knights because you don't want to be left with opposite color bishops. Simple stuff, but never forget that.